I told Roz she is not getting best buds without a fight. Oh, fair enough. I never saw her hair anyway. Yeah, and I never saw what was right in front of me. Oh, oh, love makes idiots out of all of us. Oh, how's Marty? Uh, I'm over him. Well, just like that? Yeah. Why? Oh, well, then I'm over Roz. Just like that. Oh, <laughs> two single, happy, independent women. Yeah, ready to take on the world. And the double D's are back. Oh, here's the happy couple. So, go on. Ask us how it was. Five star everything. We just didn't want the honeymoon to end. Oh, hey, hey do, you, do you have to do that here? The patient's already come in sick. Do it again, Lily. What? <laughs> we had this poor boy that would walk around with a little water spritzer. Oh, he made me feel like Cleopatra. Oh, <laughs> do you think you have to be so happy? Can you just dial it down to the rest of us, please? And the hotel was insane. Every room was a bespoke. Deluxe. Immersive. Design. Experience. A what? <laughs> well, that's what the marketing said. Every room had a theme. Oh, yeah, different decor, smells, design, textures. Wow. Oh, yeah, we took so many photos. We've got so many ideas for the IV. Mm, so you guys had to change rooms? Oh, yeah, no, we asked to, you see, a different bed for us every night. I mean, it's not like we had to unpack, if you know what I mean. Oh, I think everyone can hear you and knows what you mean. Where's the end going? Read the room, you two. Kia ora, Shortland Street. <gasps> Radio. Oh, God, sorry, I can't show you that one. <laughs> right, now this is the pop art room. Mm -hmm. This is the country and western room. The jungle room. Oh, this is the sexy boudoir. Oh, it looks like a bordello. Oh, this is the mirror room. Now, what an experience that oh. was. <laughs> see you in one of the mirrors. Oh, oh, God, sorry, you can too. <laughs> oh, you can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like a costly logistical nightmare. No, that's the thing, Kellyanne. She's, she's agreed to crack open the coffers and actually foot the bill for the IV refurb. Your powers of persuasion are legendary. Yeah, well, she's up for anything that will make us money in the long run, and this is going to make us stand out. It's going to be great for the punters and their socials. We've written up a list of possible themes. Yeah, but the condor room is a no. I thought it was still up for discussion. No. Why not? Well, it's, it's too niche. We need to keep it classy. Oh, yeah, like your room of mirrors. Exactly. See, Leanne gets it. I trust your instincts, my love. Mm, if we refurb the IV, it's going to be like we're on our honeymoon forever. <laughs> There's somewhere I need to be, somewhere that's not here. Does she seem all right to you? No, she seems fine. Now, I have got to get onto these mood boards. No, you can't fire me. Ross? Oh, she hung up on me. Oh, rude. No, 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 don't, don't call me back. Well, maybe she got cut off. Oh, she hung up on you, Leanne. Oh, I can't believe it's come to this. But working the chaos, maybe it's not the best thing for you right now. It doesn't seem very healthy for you to get this worked up over it. Well, I can't quit. I won't. Well, as long as you own a business together, you're going to have to talk to her. And is that what you want? Are you hoping you're going to get back together? Shh. Damo doesn't need to know my business. Too late. Nicole told me everything. Roz dumped you for Jason the grower. Let go of best buds. It's a constant reminder of Roz. God, nasty old cheating woman. I wish I could, but I can't. I don't want to let go. How about an Art Deco themed room? The Roaring Twenties, The Great Gatsby, Martinis, The Charleston, a post-pandemic party room. I love it. <sighs> Looks expensive. Well, you want it stylish. Absolutely. Which doesn't mean breaking the bank. Look, here it is. It's all fully costed. And with a bit of time, I can wrestle these figures down. Oh, you see, Rose had a good eye. She loved the vintage shops. Had? Oh, she's not dead. Stop wallowing. You need to come up with more room ideas. <laughs> so Leanne's on the team. Well, I must admit, I did have my doubts about this three-way relationship, but Leanne, I am impressed. Oh, well. Thanks. It's nice to be appreciated by someone. And it's been a it's been a good distraction. Right, but I mean, is refitting hotel rooms for loved up couples really a distraction? Working with your ex and his blushing bride? No, I think I can cope. Well then, you've got yourself a job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we have our own bespoke deluxe immersive design experience. Welcome on board. I love boat theme room. It's perfect. Love boat. Ah, oh, 
You're working late. I thought I might find you here. <laughs> Tippy's hyping away. Everything OK? Yes, I've got another room theme that I wanted to run past you before I take it to Desi. Well, Desi's more in charge of the design things than me. Well, this design was inspired by you. Contour room? Desi said no. No, oh, there are plenty of cosplay fans that would love to stay in this room. It's a great idea. And this will help sell it to her. Well, I, I feel like I'm going behind her back. You're not cheating on her. I know what cheating's like. You want to talk about roles? No, I don't. I want to talk about you. And letting Desi walk all over you. Just like your last marriage. Although that wasn't legally binding. With you, you mean, strumpet oh, queen. Damo, keep up. Look... Whatever. A happy wife, happy life. Look, you can worship the ground that your wife walks on and give her everything you have and still lose her. Is that what you want? No, of course not. Well, then stand up for yourself, your wants and your needs. And I want a condor room. You need the condor room. Well, all it needs is a Lord of Condor, a coat of arms and a jug of mead. Fight for what you want. Otherwise, she'll take your needs for granted. And one day you'll end up cold and alone like me.